Alfred versus Jazar, Sephiroth versus Dr. Mario. Okay, so we saw one other Sephiroth earlier in this, and that was Calva, uh, who actually was a Pyramithra. And Jazar with the SD at 39%. Oh boy. Alright, so that could be a decisive factor for this game. Let's see what they can do. I don't know, man. 41% on Gallic. Um, gonna try to get as much damage on Jazar as they possibly can without losing the stock because you gotta take advantage of that SD. 33% on Jazar. It is something. The counter being used there. Still hitting with that nice projectile after it. And, uh, ooh, the whiffed grab, or rather whiffed because of the spot dodge. To the up smash. That was good. Um, Jazar is trying to really close the gap that was created early on in this game. Um... Why do I have an... Why is there an ad? Is there an ad on the stream, guys? Huh? Anyways, um... That was... That was weird. Oh no, it was just for me, probably. Okay, anyways, sorry guys. Uh, so, Jazar has actually secured the lead now and is at 61. And wow, just like that, man. The percent is lapped. Gallic is behind by not only a stock, but even in percent now. Um, no, no, no. Uh, you know what it was, um, Riles? It was, uh, it was a banner ad on my Twitch. That was really weird. I've never seen a banner ad. And it was just confusing to me. My bad, my bad. All right, so, um, Jazar, man. What crazy Dr. Mario, man. Just 70% on Gallic. We're going to have to see what they can do. Are they going to be able to make this back? Or is Jazar going to secure this stock? Ooh, last stock situation. 122%. You know, the thing is, is that Gallic can kind of keep that distance between them and Jazar using the sword but if Jazar is able to close the distance then it's lights out bye bye good night you know I don't know we're gonna have to see that was a good use of the uppy there um but that's definitely the stock right yeah Sephiroth is quite the light character so we're gonna be seeing 1-0 for Jazar Guys, if you would please excuse me for a moment. I just hear my niece crying, um, and you know, you guys will still be able to see the game. I just need to go check on her. I'll be back in a moment. All right, I made it back in time. So we got Jazar versus Gallic once again on Smashville this time. The 1 0 lead belongs to Jazar. We're looking at it best of five now. We are in semi semi finals. Smashville is going to be a fun stage to watch them fight on. Kind of forces a little bit more interactions between the two. Not that really either of these players, it seems, have played a little too uh, defensively. So, I think it'll just, you know, keep it even more offensive. Bring the speed. 
questionable auto slash, but the upbeat was just as questionable. Um, <clears throat> at least it's not that Calvo type of. Oh wow, the bats was gonna take the stop. All right, let me get into the zone. 64-2-0 now. Jazar has the stock lead, and they're going to be racking up that damage. Getting the counter and sending Jazar off stage to the left, um, but not really being able to get there on time to capitalize on any edge guards or anything like that. Using the pill, following behind. Similar game plan to Mario with their fireball. Um, the fair on shield, you know, it's going to go unpunished, uh, generally speaking, but you know... The, the pill is a pretty good tool for Jazar to use to kind of just get a nice little range punish. It's not going to lead to too much, but it's still quite nice. I'm trying to get the down B edge guard, uh, but you know, it was worth the try. Uh, nothing was sacrificed then, or whatever. Um, I wonder if Jazar was aware that they were going to be saved by that up B because I believe that would have been death otherwise. You got to be careful air dodging in against a character like Dr. Mario. They got, they got that. Ooh. Forgot that Jazar still had that jump. That could have been a very unfortunate death. Um, we do have to remember that, you know, Jazar had SD'd in the earlier game and still managed to secure that win. So uh, that just goes to show what a skilled player he is. And uh, a few a few aerials being thrown out by Gallic there, but uh, all of them kind of missing their mark. But at the same time, though, doing the job of keeping Jazar at a distance, at least for a little while. Uh, but you just can't keep the beast at bay, it seems. A little bit of a nair, no follow-up, and good job getting the grab in right before the counters uh, projectile came in. And I like that tomahawk grab into the up throw nair. Um, There's been some good pressure that galax has been applying right now. I like that again. Just yet another tomahawk, which seems to be a pretty good uh, game plan with Sephiroth, if I might add. Um, Getting another counter in at 190% now. Gallic is closing this gla this gap slowly but surely. Uh, Jablock's not going to lead him to the F smash. I don't even know if it's true or not with Dr. Mario. It very well might be, but I wouldn't be aware. And uh, reading the fact that Jazar was going to be kind of throwing out those options uh, to cover, um, he realized that uh, the counter was going to get the stock. Alright, so we got 145 to 0, well, 152 now. Um, and Jazar's gonna take the game. So that's gonna be 2 0 right now. Let's see, uh, let's see what Gallic can bring to the table. These are both players who have a 4-0 set count. I mean, seeing as we are winners. Let me try to miss anything. I'm curious to see if Gallic is going to keep trying with Sephiroth. Uh, maybe different stage or choose a different character. All right, so Galaxy going to be going right back with Sephiroth, but now we're going to be looking at Town and City. Um, let's see how this works out. Will this be a 3-0, or will Gallic put up a fight? Um, even if Galaxy would lose, you know, to get that one game, it would make a difference, you know? Or uh, Gallic might very well just make the 3-0 comeback. That would be wild. Hey, let's get this started. Okay, so Galic starting off with a nice string of attacks, dealing 56% to Jazar and the Uppy there, catching the uh, miss punish from Galic. And uh, that's something you're going to see a lot from Dr. Mario mains. Uh, it's a pretty quick move and uh, it does its job to uh, kind of just get people off of you. Uh, nice fair catching the recovery from Jazar, but uh, 
It was also a nice recovery from him, uh, avoiding what could have been a fatal uh, edge guard from Gallic. You know, what Gallic really could need is uh, a nice down air on Jazar's fairly easy to spike recovery, but Jazar's also doing a good job of, you know, mixing it up right now, so I can't really say that it would be easy. The back throw, trying to catch the jump with the uh, fair. Uh, that's something you definitely got to watch out for when you're playing against Sephiroth is you don't want to get hit by that You, you don't want to jump out of disadvantage basically is what I'm trying to say and uh, Using that one wing to get the extra jump kind of throwing Jazar a little off uh, This is gonna be uh, oh, I thought that was gonna be the edge guard, but uh, Jazar once again holding on for dear life and not dying I get a two frame with that F tilt, but she's not gonna connect nice nair taking stock at 191% Galax at 90% though, and can die pretty easily. Trying to read the air dodge in from the pill actually be respected, but in this situation, Galax did just end up uh, neutral air dodging, so it's not going to pay off. And uh, we're going to probably see a down throw because back throw wouldn't have killed there, forward throw wouldn't have put in too much of this line. I just think, you know, down throw kind of set like the best situation to maybe get a kill out of it uh, by getting a read or something of the sorts. But now back air is going to take the stock with those blast zones on the side being a little shorter than others. And also just because at that percent, as Sephiroth against Dr. Mario's back throw, which is quite visceral, you know, you can't expect anything uh, different from that. Doing the nice Octo Slash uh, to get the Jazar off stage. But man, the down air timing was just slightly off. The F tilt was nice though. And Jazar making this back would be crazy. And you know what? There you go. Jazar did make it back. Nice up smash. Honestly, man, like... This is Galax. Uh, this is looking like Galax's game right now. Not, not to say... Um, that that galaxy's gonna win because I don't wanna I don't wanna be jinxing anything. I just mean to say like from what this current present moment I'm watching it now, it is Galaxy's game. Not that it's going to be Galaxy's game. You don't understand what I'm saying? When you can see how someone's playing, you're just like, man, yeah, we're we're simply playing Galaxy's game right now, not Smash Bros. Um, but it's really nice seeing that this adaptation uh, to what jazar has been doing, and you know, like part of me wonders. How much of this has to do with the stage? I mean, I I don't know how much more beneficial town is. Um, but, you know, at, at the same time, it's also just the way Galax playing. Uh, I think they're playing a little bit more carefully and uh, dealing with what Jazar is doing. But as I'm saying this and having this conversation, that fair is going to take the stock at a pretty uh, ripe 82%. And uh, going to make that a 3 0. That was well fought by Galax. Good job to Jazar. It's going to be. A nice clean sweep. No, nope. let me not do that. All right. Next up, we're going to be streaming um, Polytopia versus Stumi. 